Whenever you face a problem in projects, you would want to know the root cause of it so that you can decide a solution. We discussed the step-by-step -step problem solution in our previous short. Now we will discuss how do we carry out that root cause analysis with the help of a fish bone diagram. As the name suggests, it represents a fish bone. So how do we do that? How do we create this fish bone diagram and how does it help us in solving the problem? Let us see it now. Let us take a problem that a deadline was missed by a couple of days. Okay, So that would be your problem and that would be head of that fish. You would mention your problem statement here that the deadline was missed by 15 days. Right? Create a main skeleton and then try to think with your team of course, don't do it alone. What all could be the categories because of which this problem might happen? You could create those categories one by one. Right? These categories would be added to your skeleton. Right? And then based on that category, for example, if the deadline was missed, my categories could be people, it could be process, it could be tools, it could be communication. Right? So you would sit with your team, don't try to create a lot of categories, but the most important categories would automatically come through that discussion and put those categories. And then within that category, try to figure out the branches, which means was it lack of skill, was it lack of training, was it lack of understanding, was it lack of communication, was the tool not working, is the process not available, right? Figure out what could result in this problem. And then one by one, start eliminating those, whatever are not applicable. Then you'll be left with prioritized reasons because of which the problem would happen. Sit with the team, try to figure out that solution. Repeating it, why is it called fishbone diagram? Because it looks like a fish bone in general. Do let me know if there are any other topic that are troubling you while you are studying for project management for your certification exam or otherwise. I would try to create a simple explanation of that so that it helps you in understanding. We'll also be coming up with some practical discussions on how do we use these tools, these techniques in detail, the do's and don'ts of it. So subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.